If you're looking for ultimate team coins under £2.10 per 100k, then go check out gofifacoins.com and use my code GUNA to get yourself 5% off. What's up guys, Gunnar to here bringing you my first international man of the match upgrade card on the World Cup. So as you know, Neymar got man of the match in last night's World Cup opener against Croatia for his host nation Brazil and his card got an upgrade as well as part of that. So I've decided to review that upgraded card for you and let you know what you think. As especially this is probably going to be the closest you'll get to his international man of the match version seeing that you know he goes for millions and millions of coins. So have a quick look at him, 5 foot 9, high attack and work rate, medium defense work rate, right footed, five star weak foot as well as skill moves. He's got 10 goals, four assists in 11 games for me and I've also put the Hunter chemistry style on him. So here's a look at his international man of the match card that he got awarded last night. And as you can see, there is a position change as he played as a cam, but I decided to keep him as a left mid on this game. And how does it compare to his first World Cup card. Well, as you can see, the pace, dribbling have gone up by one, the defending by two, the headed by three, and shooting and passing both have gone up by four. And how does it impact on the in-game stats? So what you see there is the in-game stats, you know, are pretty great. There's lots of dark greens on there all across the board. Dribbling 97 as well. Volley's 92 being standouts. Just solid. You know, you can play as a left wing or as a striker or even as a cam, as you can see, as you did yesterday. Here's the standouts though. Look at all those dark greens there for acceleration, agility, reaction, sprint speed. But that strength at 49 is a real killer. That is the real downside to him. He's not a monster in the air neither, you know. He's not going to jump, his jumping is poor, but his vision and his attacking position are fairly decent as well. So what are my expectations of this World Cup upgrade? Well, of course, it's nice to see that he got an upgrade. Oscar did run in close yesterday, but you know what? The upgrade they didn't mess about. They gave him some vital upgrades in the key areas that he was lacking in slightly. They've increased his shooting, which is fantastic. He's always going to be one of the most silky and skillful players in the game. He's got that luxury of having both a five-star weak foot and a five-star skill moves which is just so rare, you don't see it very often in this game at all. And that's what makes him stand out from a lot of other players in the game. And when you think he's lightning quick, they've made him so, so fast at the moment. He's just rapid. He will just run away from attackers for days. The only downside to him is his strength. Even though they've upgraded his strength slightly, he's still very weak. He's one of the weakest players in the game. He doesn't even have 50 strength, even on this upgrade card. So basically, he's going to like just blow over if a defender goes near him. But he's that fast, and he's that skillful, and he's that amazing amazing on the ball with his dribbling, his movement, everything about him that basically you can keep away from those defenders and that's what you've got to do. Keep him away from the defenders and you'll just get the best out of him. He's also got fantastic passing as well. Is he worth trying to open packs for to get on this World Cup mode? Well then I would say yeah and if you ever manage to get him on the regular FET then definitely go for it but it's so expensive. So guys, just to review overall what I thought about, he's faster than a speeding bullet, he's got the luxury of 5 star skills and a 5 star weak foot, not many players have that at all. He's a deadly clinical finisher as well, get him on that strong foot or on that weak foot as well. He's got amazing dribbling, amazing agility and balance, everything about him just quality on the ball, such a smooth mover and also got awesome movement as well, getting in behind and creating space. The only downside to him, the only thing I could knock him back for is how weak he was, that 49 strength is just a killer, but apart from that he's an amazing card to use. So overall I'll give him a 9.75 out of 10. It's absolutely amazing. Try and open some packs to get him if you don't have him already on this World Cup mode. And maybe he'll get another upgrade. Who knows what's in store with the World Cup? You know, he is the favourite. He's the main man for the host nation. So anyway, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, bloke, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.